it's no secret, Utah is having a housing affordability crisis. This has a lot of people wondering, is it still a good time to buy a house in Utah? In today's video, I'm gonna update you on Utah's current real estate crisis and answer the question, should I buy a house in Utah right now? Hi, I'm Ty the Real Estate Guy, and if you'd like to stay up to date on the latest real estate tips, and trends, subscribe to my channel below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. If you have questions about buying, selling, or investing here in Utah, I would love to talk with you. Please feel free to type a message below or you're welcome to contact me directly. And by the way, you'll wanna watch this video all the way to the end where I'll share my recommendations for those who are looking to buy or sell a home during this crazy market. Okay, so where do I start? Or maybe a better question is, when is this insanity going to end? Utah is in a housing affordability crisis like we've never seen, as the prices of homes have skyrocketed for several years. Really, home prices have been increasing for about a decade now, but especially over the last six years. Home values normally increase at a rate of about 3.5%, give or take a little, depending on where you live. But in Utah, we've seen double digit gains year after year for several years. Over the last five years alone, home prices have increased by more than 60% on average, and home values have actually even doubled in some locations around the state during this short time period. So if you had purchased a $350,000 home in 2015, it could easily be worth more than $560,000 today. That means the value of your home just increased by $210,000 in just five years. The Salt Lake metropolitan area is now ranked number 22 out of the top 182 metros in the United States. So we are currently ranked higher than 88% of the major metros. How crazy is that? Just a few years ago, we were ranked number 45. So things are changing here and they are changing fast. Utah was recently ranked fourth highest in home appreciation. If you already own a house, it's time to celebrate. But if you're looking to buy a home, it's not a good thing. And I'll talk more about this in just a minute. If you're currently paying rent, it's a double whammy because not only are home prices quickly becoming unaffordable, but rent is also increasing at a faster rate than normal. In a lot of places, rent has increased by more than $100 per month just since last year. I recently produced a video on renting versus buying a home. If you'd like to learn the advantages of home ownership versus rent, look for the link to that video below. So I do have some good news. The state is changing zoning to allow for more construction of apartments, condos, townhomes, and single family housing. This will allow people to live closer to work, recreation, and etc., improving the quality of life for those who live in Utah. The state is also working on a plan to preserve and rehabilitate already existing affordable housing. The bad news, number one, it kind of feels like it's a little too little, and a little too late. Number two, we are in a severe housing shortage and that's not gonna change anytime soon. It will take months, if not years, for our housing market to stabilize. And for that to happen, we simply need a lot more houses on the market and it would really help if people stop moving here. But with an economy like ours, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. This takes me to item number three, the state grew last year by more than 15%. <laughs> that is a jaw-dropping number. But because our economy is so amazing and because Utah is such an incredible place to live, people will continue to move here in record numbers through 2021 and most likely beyond. And number five, mortgage rates are at all-time lows. Yes, this is good news and bad news. For those who wanna buy a home, these super low mortgage interest rates make buying a house much more affordable. But these insanely low mortgage rates are also enticing first-time home buyers, those looking to buy a second home, 
and investors to purchase real estate here in Utah. Number six, the housing crisis here in Utah does not mean that our housing market is going to crash. It actually means the opposite. We need places for people to live and we need them, well, yesterday. So to answer the question, is this market going to crash? The obvious answer is no. We simply have too many people already living here looking for housing and we have thousands upon thousands of people planning to move here in 2021. The second part of the problem is that we have almost no homes available for sale. You get a housing crisis like the one we're experiencing right now when you combine these two things. Because we have so many buyers and so few sellers, it will easily take several months and most likely years for this market to stabilize. It's my expectation that the rate at which homes are increasing in value will start to slow down. I'm hopeful that that will begin to happen in 2021, but I'd expect to see slowing for sure by the end of 2022. If you'd like to learn more about what Utah's real estate market is doing right now, I'm constantly producing videos to update you on Utah's housing market. Look for my list of recommended videos below. If you find these Utah housing market updates helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It takes a lot of time and energy to produce these videos, so I'd like to know if you're finding this information helpful. Thanks. Okay, so here's my recommendation for those of you looking to buy or sell a home here in Utah. And I want you to know that I take this very seriously. I fully understand that I am a salesperson and that a lot of people will assume that I will always tell you to buy. But my goal with this channel is to educate and safely guide people through the process of buying, selling, or investing in real estate. My goal is to be among the first to provide solid advice when the time comes not to buy a house. That time is not right now though. For those of you who are looking to buy a home, here in Utah, I am currently recommending that you buy a home, and for two reasons. Mostly because I believe home values will continue to increase in Utah for several months, if not years, because of these crazy low mortgage interest rates. With rates now sitting around 2.5% compared to over 4% last year, you've gained fifty to $70,000 in buying power. So even though home prices have come way up, your monthly mortgage payment will be similar to what it would have been if you'd purchased a home last year. For those of you that have a home to sell, rather you're looking to downsize, or you're considering a move to a smaller town or a different state, now is the time to make the move, right now, while the housing market is scorching in Utah and while mortgage rates are sitting at record lows. If you have questions or you'd like a free valuation of your home here in Utah, please feel free to message me below or you can call me directly. I love talking with people about their options. If you're planning to move to Utah or you already live here and you're looking to buy, sell, or build a home, I would love to talk with you as well please feel free to contact me directly. For those of you who are wondering, where should I move next? I'm telling you, this is the place. If there was something in this video that stood out to you as being helpful, please let me know by commenting below. If you have questions, or if I left something out, please help the community by leaving a remark below as well. Sincerely, I wanna hear from you. If you know someone who's looking to buy a home or moving to Utah, please share this video with them. And please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to ring that little bell below. It'll make you feel good.